Wear the gown. Brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. All right, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're not claustrophobic because in today's episode of Wear the Gown, we're sending you on a short trip. Here's TSV 11's Craig O'Neill. We're taking you inside a hyperbaric chamber in hopes you never really have to go here. These chambers are the focal point for the CHI St. Vincent Wound Care Center. But it incorporates um, uh, many uh, aspects other than uh, so simply looking at a wound and changing a dressing. Yes. They get the call when healing a wound needs something extra. I think it's somebody that needs more than the standard care or somebody that fails to respond in a standard way. And this is where the hyperbaric chamber can come into play. It's 100% oxygen under pressure. The goal is the growth of new blood vessels and that helps rejuvenate injured tissue and skin. But keep in mind, only about 5 to 10 percent of the center's patients ever need it. But honestly, most of our patients uh, have an underlying chronic condition which impeded their ability to heal normally in the, in the first place. Long periodic treatment schedules are needed to fight their number one enemy, diabetes. Most of the diabetic foot ulcers are on the pressure bearing surfaces of the foot. Is it getting too warm? Even with hyperbaric chambers, treatments may take months, but it's worth it. The alternative is immediate amputation. You know, we're saving their foot, but we're also prolonging their life in that process. And they have a hospital full of specialists that can then come into play in correcting the underlying problem that caused that wound in the first place. If somebody's falling through the cracks somewhere else, they can come here. We will coordinate their care. These are Chambers of Hope. And the Wound Care Center is adjacent to the main hospital of the CHI St. Vincent campus here in Little Rock. And the hyperbaric therapy is now so common that Medicare covers over 15 procedure, procedures using those chambers you just saw. TG11 this morning is back in two minutes.